channel. If you're new here, then hi, my name is Danielle Louise and we do everything from beauty, fashion, lifestyle and a little bit of motherhood over here on my channel. So today I am back with another video and today is probably one of my favourite films, favourite films? One of my favourite videos to watch, like from other people. Um, and that is an Aldi haul. So we're very lucky and a new Aldi has just opened up very, very close to us. And yeah, I'm just in like my element because I don't know about anyone else, but going to the food shop just seemed like such a big, going to the food shop, going to do the food shop just seemed like such a big dreaded task that I just never really wanted to do. Um, because I had to travel, you know, like to, not miles, like I'm, I'm being a bit like of a baby here, but like, it just seems like a big chore to like drive to the supermarket, get out, go do la 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 la, whatever. But now it's so close, it just seems so easy that it doesn't really matter if I forget like one thing, because I can just pop back and, you know, through the week or whatever. Anyway, without me blabbing on, that is what this video is going to be. So let me just catch you up a little bit. Um, we have just got back from a little getaway with my family. We went to the beautiful town, I think it's a town, of Paul's Maddock. I want to say it's a town. Um, and we stayed at a beautiful um, site and we had a great time. We stayed there for a week. We went with my mum and dad and yeah, and we just had a brilliant, brilliant time. It was so nice. Um, we're nearing the end of the summer holidays now as well, so we've got about two weeks left until the kids go back to school. Arlo's going into year two, which I literally cannot believe. I can't believe he's going to be a year two, but I'm also so proud of him because he's doing so, so well in school. in Well, so, so well in everything, so I'm just really, really proud of him. But on a little bit of a downside, since we have been away, I have put on half a stone which is just not ideal, like it's just not, like I wanted to try and lose a bit of weight before that and now I definitely need to lose a little bit of weight. Um, I know like a lot of people will just turn around and be like, you're fine the way you are, blah, 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 but do you know what, it's the way you feel and I just, I'm not feeling myself right now, I'm feeling sluggish, I'm feeling heavy, I'm feeling, you know, just, I'm not fitting in some of my clothes and I just don't feel great. So that's why I've like put a bit of makeup on today and actually like straighten my hair and try to put on a nice-ish outfit because I was just trying to make myself feel better to be honest. Um, because that's what you have to do, don't you? If you're feeling a bit rubbish and a bit down in the dumps or a bit crappy, then you really have to like dig deep and pull yourself out of that hole. Um, so yeah, I've kind of subconsciously made a little bit of a decision that I'm going to be trying my best to get into a fitness routine, get into a healthy eating routine. I'm still going to have treats. I'm still going to allow myself to, you know, have um, like a fish and chips every so often. Like we're going to Barmouth this weekend and I'm, I'm definitely going to have fish and chips. I'm not going to like sit there with my carrot sticks and while everyone else is having a good time. That is just not me. That's not something I'm going to be doing. Um, but I just think it's all about moderation and we have been like, you know, like splurging a little bit. Splurging, I don't know if that's the right word either. I'm just, I make up the way that the words are supposed to fit myself, to be honest. Like, I don't know if anything I say makes sense half the time. Um, but yeah, I am going to um, get myself on a little bit of a healthier path and start working out and hopefully drop in a few pounds because that would make me a little bit happy. Um, but to be honest, the number on the scales isn't what matters, it's about how I feel and excuse me and yeah basically that's what we're gonna do so that's why I thought I would start off this video um with a bit of an Aldi haul so yeah and as you can see please excuse if you can see over here we've been back how many days now it is now Wednesday and we came back Friday so we've been back quite a quite a while um and I still haven't unpacked properly but in that suitcase it's literally all clean clothes that we didn't even wear so it just needs putting away but haven't done that yet um, but yeah, without me blabbing on too, too much, because I like to do that, I always do that, um, I'm going to lay everything out that I've just bought from Aldi and show you our healthier Aldi haul. So give me a couple of minutes and I will show you. Okay, so starting off over here, um, that's my receipt there, so I'll just move that. Um, 
One thing I will say is that I've noticed even in Aldi that prices have increased. Um, this would normally like not cost me as much as it has today. Um, because this all actually cost me about £96, which is... How much did it cost me? It cost me £98.69, which like might as well say £100. I did get quite a bit um, and a lot of meat and things, so it should last. But I honestly don't really think that it lasts. It's as much as I usually would get for that amount of money, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, I'm sure it's still cheaper than a lot of other supermarkets, so I'm not going to complain too much, but, you know, just letting you know. Anyway, so to start off with, I got these pasta and sauces. I got the chicken and mushroom flavour and the cheese, leek and ham. Now, these are only 211 calories, I think it's a focus, per pack. Can I focus? These are only 211 calories per portion um, and I think this pack, so they're 211 calories per half pack um, but obviously if you're having it, like me and Arlo might sometimes have like half each if I'm having it as like a little snack to get us through the day or if um, I'm feeling hungry I'll have one of these to myself but at like 422 calories for a meal isn't really that bad and um all of the saturates and things like that are low so yeah um they're like quite a healthy ish snack if you're on the go and arlo absolutely adores them these are his favorite flavor the cheese leek and ham flavor are his favorite so i don't grumble if he wants them for like a snack or sometimes if we're having like a really really busy week um he'll have like one of those for tea or something um then i got these fajita dinner kits i am um, started like buying everything separately but i actually think that buying this kit i think it's like one pound something like one pound fifty something and it serves four people um and yeah they're it's just so so nice they have like all the tortilla wraps in them and um, the fajita seasoning and the salsa and yeah, they're just really, really nice, really good, and also quite low in calories, not too, too bad. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was quite a nice, quick and easy tea, so we have got two of those. I bought some macaroni, um, just because I've really been loving, um, well, I would say I've been loving, I always have loved pasta, um, and we always just get penne, but I thought that I would get macaroni, for a bit of a change and um, Arla will love this and um, I actually make a really nice macaroni cheese so I could use this for that um and yeah just you know just a firm favorite in our house then I got some long grain rice I got two of these um because we've recently just got a um We've recently just got a rice maker, which is going to make my life so much easier because we love rice in this house. But usually I will buy the um, little boil in the bag ones, you know, for per portion. But obviously they're a lot more expensive. So um, I thought, now we've got a rice maker, I can just buy this rice. And obviously this, how much many portions has this got in it? 13 servings in that bag and it was 45p, which is just great. Then I also got these bags of penne pasta, obvious reasons, we go for penne quite a lot, we love bolognese, we love, um, like I said, like pasta and sauce and things like that, um, we use pasta a lot, and also one of Arlo's favourites is tuna pasta, so he absolutely loves tuna pasta, um, so yeah, got three bags of them. I got the heavy duty bin bags, um, obvious reasons, we just needed them, so I got two packs of them, and also I got these um, food and freezer bags, um, so that I can separate the chicken and, you know, just put a couple of breasts in each bag, so it's just easier to get out and defrost when we need. Arla requested these today, he saw these and said, mum, these are so good, so can I have them, so I said yes. Um, then over here we have... And over here we have some um, free range eggs and um, we like to have some scrambled egg or I'll just like, you know, it's just a general item to have, isn't it? Like you're always using eggs. Um, then over to the fruit, I got some raspberries and some blueberries. Arlo's favourites at the moment. He's gone off strawberries at the moment. I don't know if they're like out of season or the taste has changed a little bit, but he's not really keen at the moment. So I didn't bother getting them. 
Um, and then I also got some seedless red grapes. These are the ones I like, I don't know if you can see, because they're quite like big and chunky. They had some like small ones in there and they're just not as nice. Um, so I like the big, chunky, juicy ones. Then I got some Easy Peelers, um, again, just a healthy snack. Arlo adores these, and yeah, just really, really nice. Then I'm just going to move this bread out of the way before it actually gets squashed. So this is the bread that I have bought. This bread is honestly the nicest bread I think I've ever tasted. Like, <laughs> that's probably like an exaggeration, but honestly, it's so fresh. It's full of seeds, which is something that we really like as a family. And I'm really lucky that Arla will actually eat this bread as well. He's not a fussy child at all. He will eat pretty much anything that I give him um, apart from. He doesn't like cheese, he doesn't like butter, and he doesn't like gravy. But apart from the, those three things, he pretty much likes everything. So each slice is 131 calories. Um, but yeah, I just get this bread because I feel like no other bread compares. This just stays fresh. It's like honestly the nicest to have a sandwich on. Um, so yeah, that's why I got that. And we'll obviously go through a lot of bread being a family of four. Then I also got some um, bananas because again, it's one of our favorite fruits. Um, some white potatoes over there just to make obviously some mashed potato or um, just have as part of a meal. Also some sweet potato as like maybe a little bit more of a healthier, lighter option for me. Um, some peppers, again to go with the fajitas and also Arla loves these as snacks and I love these as snacks as well. They'll go in like bolognese, they'll go in chilli, they'll go in loads and loads of different meals. So we always go through a lot of peppers. Then I got a um, then I got some um, gravy granules, we always get the chicken ones because they're just delicious. Some red onions over there, um, just to go in meals. Some baby button mushrooms, um, these go really nice in um, the pasta dish that I do. I do a macaroni cheese but I also add like, um, it's like a macaroni cheese but it has like mushrooms in it and it has um, chicken in it so it's like you know, it's my it's my own spin on it. Um, I copied the Rochelle Humes um, recipe, but like she says in her um, recipe book, everything that is in that book, you can like swap and change things. So that's what I've done. Like it's it's based on her recipe, but I add my own bits and bobs into it. Um, some smooth orange juice just there because that's what Arlo has every morning and um, I like him to have like some fresh juice in the morning um, and yeah it's just nice for him to have some milk obviously we go through a lot of that some British honey roast ham this is really nice ham and Arlo has this on sandwiches um, and sometimes just as a little bit of a snack a top of our favourite cheese from Aldi this is the nicest cheese from Aldi it's not too strong but it's strong enough and it's it's my favourite, so obviously this is like obviously high in fat and things, but I'll just sprinkle a little bit over and um, we have this on fajitas and things like that as well. Some butter, this is a really nice butter, it's a complete copy of Clover, but it honestly tastes pretty much the same, so no complaints from me. Then I got two big packs of chicken breasts, I will um, separate these and freeze them and we will be able to just take out as and when we want. Um, but yeah, really, really, we really like chicken in this household and we go through a lot of it. Then I got some salmon fillets. I got three packs of these because me and Kieran absolutely love salmon. We go through salmon really, really fast in this house. Um, and yeah, it's just something that is really, really nice. Obviously Kieran works um, late sometimes. So when he gets home, usually the kids have already eaten and I will just cook or something. So I usually will have the salmon and then I've also bought some chilli sauce um, and I'll just put some chilli sauce over the salmon in some foil with some garlic and then I'll just cook it in the oven for about an hour and we have that with rice and broccoli which is one of our favourite meals. It's really, really good. So yeah, that's really nice. Then I got for a change, we've not had these like in an age, I think the last time we had like gammon cooked at home was probably Christmas time so we've not had this for ages so I just thought I'd get some of these gammon joints because it'd be really nice to do in a slow cooker and um, yeah I just thought it'd be easy obviously Arlo's starting his football training um, again this week so some nights obviously we'll be getting home a bit later so obviously so it'll be great to have something 
in the slow cooker ready to eat for when we get home. So that's what I got those for because I thought that would just be really, really quick and easy. We got some potato waffles because everyone in this house loves the potato waffles. They are a winner in this house. We absolutely love them. And also one thing that I've been loving having lately is potato one potato waffle out the toaster and honestly having them out of the toaster is also a game changer it tastes they taste so much nicer than when they've been in the oven and um, the toaster just cooks them and makes it all fluffy inside and it's just beautiful in my opinion but i love them out of the toaster i have one um potato waffle with some scrambled eggs over the top and honestly don't knock it till you tried it because it's really 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 nice and then i put some sriracha sauce over the top and it is probably one of my favorite breakfasts at the moment so yeah it's absolutely gorgeous then i got some beef and pork mince because i thought i could make either a bolognese or some meatballs or something along those lines and um, so i got that and then i got some medium curry powder so i can make a bit of a curry at home um self-explanatory really just um a staple to have in the house and some garam masala as well for the same purpose um, some pesto because when my sister was home she made her little boy Hudson um, pesto pasta and I've never had pesto before which is a bit ridiculous really considering that I am 27 years old in just under a month which is um, a bit disgusting and a bit scary. Um, I say just under a month actually no I've still got it's just over a month actually so I'm gonna hold on to that um but yeah anyway i'm gonna try this and i'm gonna give some to arlo and it's just gonna be nice she gave it with him with the um macaroni pasta and with just with a bit of cheese over the top and it was honestly really really nice so i'm gonna give that a go i got um some beans because you always need a top up of these i put these in um chilies and also obviously it's just like it goes along with a meal why is my camera not focusing come on there we go yeah it just um goes you know with any meal really to be honest and Arlo and Faye absolutely love beans so yeah so that's good and then today we also got some chicken noodle soup because Arlo has been saying that he wants to try it so I got some of these to make him happy you know so that he could try some chicken noodle soup and then I also got these steam bag carrot peas and sweet corn obviously probably not the most efficient like um, solution but the reason i got these is because sometimes when you make a meal you don't want to be peeling and you don't want to be chopping and blah blah blah, blah. so i got some of these um just so that it's just quick and easy to add something healthy to your meal also i was thinking that i could like add one of these to my meal instead of like loads of piles of mashed potato or whatever so i am not eating as many carbs um but yeah I just thought that they were good and something that you could add to your meal and make it a bit healthier so anyway last but not least is these tropical blast zero sugar drinks now if you have not tasted these you need to go to your nearest aldi and you need to get them because look at the calories can you see that they are 10 calories per can and honestly they taste so good they're like my favorite drink at the moment and i just love them so when you know when you want in like a bit of a sweet drink you're craving something sweet reach for one of them honestly because they are just my one of my favorite drinks at the moment and yeah we're pretty much addicted in this house and also like i don't really like arlo to have fizzy drinks very often but if he wants to have a fizzy drink i would prefer him to have that rather than like you know like a can of coke or a can of whatever i don't really let him have coke very often but you know i what i'm trying to say is i don't want him with something that's absolutely full of sugar and it's just not good for his teeth so if he wants like something you know to feel involved and to feel like he's having a treat as well then i'll let him have one of these oh and then lastly i forgot to tell you about these i got the um instant hot chocolate again just to like hit that sugar craving when it arrives um this hot chocolate is honestly in my opinion nicer than the cadbury's one i also got a top up of my instant coffee that i've been having lately i've been having this instead of my 
um coffee machine coffees because i used to have a cappuccino every morning and i'm thinking if i'm cutting down you know that's a lot of calories in my morning coffee that i could be cutting out so i'm going to be giving these a go and trying to stay on this instead of that for now and just have like a cappuccino as a treat um then i also got these thins because these are just better um these are just better if you're trying to be good and you know instead of bread sometimes just have one of these um and i also think these are really nice to have toasted and then you can dip it in soup and things like that and then some wraps because we love wraps and we go through them like crazy in this house so that is my whole aldi shop um and yeah i think i did quite well i think i got a lot of healthy things and yeah i'm really really happy so that is my completed Aldi haul. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you did enjoy it. Um, I've really enjoyed doing it for you. Um, it's really is something that I'm interested in. Like I always get a lot of inspiration and you know just see different things. I like to see what everyone else buys from the supermarket. That might be weird of me, but I actually really do enjoy that. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everyone.